the experience with me and I have in a J- Jamaica, it wasn't like in England. Mm-hmm. A different experience with each in England. I know my wife loved me, but she too hard for me fam. You know what you guys are? A reality show. Music is something I've been in love from, from me ago. I usually dance too. Was Queenie your ticket too far? <laughs> well, to Barney City, you know. This episode is brought to you by Mermaid's Find, Toronto's tastiest seafood and bubble tea. Located at 1550 Eglinton Avenue, West Toronto. Follow them on Instagram at Mermaid's Find or check them out at www.mermaidsfind.com. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, this is a pull up, and we have a special guest all the way from UK. Brad is mass. There's a lot of stuff surrounding this man, but we're going to talk to him tonight. You know, we have in the building today, we have Dewey Dan, the connection boss in the building. What's going on, my brother? Connect, connect, money in every life. Connect. That is it. Is it uh, how are you enjoying Canada? Not even I enjoy it, you know, but loving it. Yeah, loving it. Yeah, loving First it. First time here? Very. Very. Mm-hmm. Is it anything like the UK? Similar in our sense. Yeah. How so? The weather. Yeah. You know, people. It not have a vibe, but not not a similar vibe to England, but it have yeah. a vibe. As a, we have our own vibe Vibes, going on up yeah. there. Got you good to go. So I know again, we could go one of two ways. It's going to be your choice. Either we could go music first, elephant in the room after, or elephant in the room, then music. Choice is yours. Elephant in the room first. All right. You see what? <laughs> I, I like brave people. All right. So let's start. Um, You know what? How do How do we start with this elephant in the room? Last couple of days now. Last couple, how long have you been up here now? A week and what, three days now. In the last 10 days, yeah. there's been a lot of stuff concerning you <laughs> and your wife online, Queenie. Got All it. Right? Talk, talk to me about it. What's, what's going on? Well, there's a lot been been going on in a boat. And hopefully you're here to clear the air so we know exactly what's really going on. All right, there, there's been a lot going on between me and my wife. Mm-hmm. Where we didn't come to Canada and she didn't know. Reason being, you know, we have a look at dispute and. But now I get no. Where does say no? That sympathy, that mm-hmm. sympathy that I was looking for. So, yeah, me just decide for us make a move and say, all right, then I'm going to try Canada for the first time, you know? And, you know, by doing that, you know, I come to Canada and it's like, you know, it's a love, a joy. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. If you're going down the road and you didn't tell your wife, that's one thing. You're in a whole different country, boss. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't think that would cause any sort of problems? Well, to be honest, you know, when me that move, me know it will cause problems. You know? Okay, so then you don't care then. I never seen a care in but at the same time I just say, you know, me need to be a man and mm-hmm. you know. Try to take on the journey by me once for a minute. Mm-hmm. You understand? And by doing that, as me said, the love and the acceptation, the the the, the, the applause when I get from the crowd is like them you know the crowd that say, do it you, you can do it. Yeah. You understand, sir? You know, it's a journey. If we're going to talk the truth, we're going to keep it 100%. I was on your page today, yeah. seeing you post some stuff. And when you go into the comment section, boss, that's where <laughs> these people are killing you for Queenie, bro. You understand? So it's almost right. like, okay, tell me. You see that now, I'm going to pee in mind. You should. Reason being, you see when people see you in the flesh, mm-hmm. them get the exception where you want. But you see on the internet, them beat your gut. Them beat your gut. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you get me, sir? So it's just a thing wherein <clears throat> the negative comment, you know, 
it just give me the the the, the, the strength for this. Be strong. Mm-hmm. And know say you can do it. You understand? Me, and I say me not take it for something, mm-hmm. but it's at the same time we don't stamp on the negative. You know that it's there, but you're not preying it like preying that. it like that. Yeah. yeah. Because according to Queenie, you guys are not married right now. <laughs> well, I said the Queen said, "What my cousin?" I want to go back because I feel like we just jumped right into the fire. I need to go back to how we even got here in the first place. How did you meet Queenie? Well, I see him internet with me there, man. On the internet? Yeah, me see her, you know, you know, fall in love with her whole vibes and, you know, how she portray herself. You understand? So, you know, from this, you know, me jump in her day, man. From DM to WhatsApp, and, you know, from WhatsApp to in her real life. Yeah. You understand, man? What is it, was it, about Queenie that you liked? She's a very caring person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very. She seems to care, but almost like too much sometimes. Because you could see her caring gets the best of her a lot of the times. You understand? And then this puts you in a particular situation. Because even, you could see clearly there's a, a quite a significant age difference between the two of you guys. Do you find that that's a problem between the two of you guys where you might not understand her or she might not understand you type of thing? There's a type of thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause sometimes you know she not understand me. You understand we in to the point we in. She might explain herself to me, and or explain a situation. Mm-hmm. And by explaining, you know, just move from from zero to a million real quick. You understand. I think you almost like that type of excitement, you know, do we? You but I never saw something we used to. But, you know, knowing that I'm a wife, you understand me for this, as him say comply, you understand? So, you know, but being, with a, being did I comply with my wife and all of that, but at the same time, you know, that trip here I take, you know, I just say, you know, I be a man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, understand. And just do what me have to do. Complying with your wife is one thing, but is your wife complying with you? Not all the time. Oh man, I saw them see you. You understand? But it's more of a thing where now I understand the dynamics of the relationship a bit more because the relationship started on the internet. That's why so much stuff that happens in your relationship ends up on the, the internet. internet. Yeah, you know what I mean. And you know, to be honest, see that even the other day, me and her reason, and you know, me and tell her say our relationship is not like a normal relationship mm-hmm. because when a normal man and female have argument, you know, get hit on the internet. You understand? So, if now I get the backlash with me, I get. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Say so. My thing more different, my thing have a, a, a different weight to it. You understand? Because when my wife pressure me, I remember say, the comment section did it again. We are giving me a different pressure in Because mm-hmm. sometimes me might not see it, you know, but you have some people who check for me more time. And, you know, them send me little clippings and them send me the little screenshot to somebody might have. You get me? I see, you know, them people. You know, to be to be honest with you, sometimes you see it, you know, it, 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 me a human being. Of course. They get me, it, it, it stick my brain more time. You understand, I'm a mind squeal and the squeal of my squeal, you know. The person around me might say, yo, look at that man, you're bigger than that. Mm-hmm. You understand, and by getting the adjustment there, they just make me know, say, yo, look at that. No time for that. Mm-hmm. You understand. But if you knew... Queenie was like this, like went from zero to one million quick. Why do you guys even decide to get married? Why didn't you just keep it, let's boyfriend, girlfriend, keep it at that and anything right. or anything? But honestly, it was like that in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You understand? If we go back in our history, yes, when me and my wife did the Jamaica, you understand? You know, the first half, before we get the opportunity for go. England. Mm-hmm. 
if men have an argument, shouldn't put it on the internet. Well, me don't know, but at that time, mm -hmm. it was like that. You understand? I remember one little time men have an argument, and it's like me never complied with she said. And she drive out, and the child she drive out, she start ball and put it on the internet and I scream. And I think that video go viral as well. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you know, some call her back and me say, Yo, where are you? And she said, Tell me which part she then. You know, I'm going to find her. I will make up back from this. So. You understand? So, as I say, the experience with me and I have in Jamaica, it wasn't like in England. Mm -hmm. A different experience when I reached England. So, what changed when you got to England then? Well, to be honest, I don't know what changed. You know, I don't know if the weather changed or what changed, believe me. You get me? Mm -hmm. But something changed. Remember, when you're on vacation and you, you buck up somebody, yeah, we've been linking, DM and all this. Now I see you in person, but it's nice sand and beach and all this. That's one thing, you know. Yeah. You see, when I come home now, where this this is where we're working or the real bills are a real home now, it's a different ballgame. Different game, ball game. Mm -hmm. You understand? And were you ready for something like that? To be honest with you, me, they think I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my, 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 my foot in her shoes. I never feel it as squeeze at all. You see me? Sometimes it get tight, you know, but I no squeeze. Mm -hmm. If you get what me, I say, you understand. And you know, more on the ear, more, 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 make, more make this clear to the ear. And the things are opportunity make my own wife or make me stick with my wife. I just love where my grow, where me and I grow with each other. You understand? I get you a bit, but this, this, this to me, yeah. as a man, my biggest problem, I'm talking about me, muscle, the person you're talking to, is you see when it comes to it, pick up your phone and you're talking one bag of things, I could have loved you a little more. You understand? That, no, I could work in a bag. All right. Man. I tell you something to be honest with you. See, the love of my have mm -hmm. is like a love wearing it. It's soft. You get me? You see from you see from a putty in another in another special place. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's like if you stick me, it not fit me. Cause I just the love. When me see to be honest with you, when me see my wife go as far as we you know, going to my mother. You understand me? I said, No. This real. You understand? You get me a something way. Me a human being, I can't do it at the same time. You mm -hmm. understand? But I look upon it, I say, to be the bigger person, yeah, you know, in a sense, it's stoop to that level. You understand? So, you know, I give her the pay because that's a fair thing, that's not that my thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Me know where she has come from. You understand? And due to the fact that she knows that, she do it. So, to do it or she do it, it's like a stick she has stick me. Mm -hmm. You yeah, understand what I say? So sometimes, when she goes up on the internet and she talks some things and she says some things and she goes on some way, but no for just to get me attention. You yeah, understand? So, you know, it no bother me. <laughs> a lot of people, or you know what, not even a lot of people, let me ask you this straight 1,000%, man to man, bridging to bridging. Internet, they're going to see it in everything, all right? Was Queenie... Your ticket to England, that's the way you've seen it? Say, listen, this is my way out of whatever situation, and this is how I'm going to get to where I'm going. Because you're putting up with blah, some real unnecessary lifestyle. But it's not like it's not one way. It's not coming from her, too. You're doing your dirt, too, yeah, you know, yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, man, I said, man. You understand? So, again, as I said, the question <laughs> was, was Queenie your ticket too far in? All right, to be honest with you, when me, when, when, when me and my wife, when me and my wife I get together, you understand what I say? Mm -hmm. There was nothing like that, you understand? But by, you know, we get in, you know, somebody address her and make sure you know, say, whatever. So, 
when me hear people are talk and you know I make them comment. We know not our marriage was nothing for no people. As I said to you, is a woman way. She just gave that genuine care there. And from she gave that care there, you have got to develop that sense of love there for you. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, you know, when me and people talk about my ticket and my, uh, she was my way if we got England and, you know, my mother said, uh, you just attack. But as a, oh, somebody outside looking in, could you understand why people would think that? Is there any, could you at least understand why somebody would think that? Well, yeah. Yeah. I think we're having a conversation. You're being, I'll go f- as far as 80% truthful, but there's still a 20% that you're holding <laughs> on to, you know, doing. You understand? You <laughs> understand? <laughs> all right, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, we have be real lounge here, did That's that's yeah, all that's we want in a real life, mm-hmm. guys. Some things they ask me, mm-hmm. you understand? Me never did want get in that, but me be frank, mm-hmm. you understand? So that is that. Mm-hmm. You get me? Yeah, because as I said, really and truly, when when I said, okay, I'm going to do this, I started to, okay, do some research because I like to, I'm more research-based. When I talk to you, I like to know who I'm talking to. You know what I mean? But as soon as you put it in, the first thing you start to see before your music is the pasa. You understand? <laughs> is negativity. the pasa. <laughs> is the pasa. Yeah. I could understand. At first, you guys, when you were in the DM, you guys had, it was only two of you guys in a relationship. Yeah. Nowadays, there's 500,000 you guys in this relationship. 500 or more than that. You understand? No, 500,000. Everybody comment likes it. And me, I've been on the internet a long time. I know it's easy to get carried away yeah. on the internet, especially when people are on your side. Right. People like, 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 comment, say what they're saying. It's easy to continue to boost it, boost it, boost it. Me, personally, I feel like that's where you guys are now. Even if you guys did start out as DM and love and like and all that, it's gone so far and became so toxic that it's now almost, you know what you guys are? A reality show. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's exactly, you you guys invented your own reality show. I gave a joke, I think, for a two day ago, a day ago, Mm -hmm. somebody called me and said to me, say, let me wait for see the next movie headline. I'm going to say, I really saw the look on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't know because you're in it or, again, everybody has a different things that they like in their life, they tolerate and all. But it's just, I'm t- I could only speak from my experience. I'm married. I've been married now almost 10 years. Certain things that I see happening in your relationship, boss, couldn't happen for one minute in mine. And I'm talking from my wife's side and my side also. You understand? But again, you might you might like. I think you like the toxic lifestyle. No, sir. Oh, uh, that's that's hard to that's hard for me to agree with that. I think you guys like it. It might be overbearing uh, sometimes, but something. I think you like it. You see, me didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Eh? I'll ever go on the other day. I still stay in it. More to take that that that, that journey. I swear it. But remember. How you even ended up here was she saying that you moved out? No. You stole the car? No. You stole money? No. Okay. So why is she saying all three of these things? Because she want me to look bad. Why would she want her husband that's attached to her? You guys are going to make up and be good after? Because me, me and I have problem. Fair enough. I see due to the fact that when me and I have problem. And when I look for her way, I go for her way, this is how she gets me back on her way. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. All right. If you be frank right now, we're in the process of making her getting back her car key. Mm-hmm. You understand? You get me? So Why did you take the car in the first place? <laughs> to be honest with you, mm-hmm. we are a married couple. Mm-hmm. You understand? And we have two vehicles. 
And me never look at the Jamaica walk. So I take one mm-hmm. and she have one. Fair enough. So you didn't leave her stranded. She has a vehicle to yeah, get around. She have a vehicle. Forget she have the bigger vehicle. Me have mm-hmm. a smaller one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at the same time, I still, me still have a coffee yeah. and to, to, to give a joke to. Mm-hmm. When me I take the, the when me, when I take no. When me I drive with a small vehicle, mm-hmm. the, the day, I'm a tough fuck. When we have the dispute in the van, kind of the van, everything. Um, mm-hmm. When it happens in the van, I have the two vehicle key them for me. I have the van key and I have the car key. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, you see, if I was to be one of them, something there, should you get none? Mm-hmm. You understand? But the kindness of my heart, mm-hmm. can I have the two vehicle key them? Anyway, she go and lock off that van from come out of that, you know, that, 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 up, that up the stair right there, you know. You cannot move again because you don't have the key. You understand? I want to drive with the car. She called me and said she want the van key, the van lock up. I drive with the car back. But then I get back the car. I mean, I go walk. You understand? I can't structure that way there. Mm-hmm. You understand? You have something to move around. You have something to move around to. So when I come to Canada now, I never dog left it in nobody. Let's park it up. So why wouldn't you give her back? You're not, you're using it. If she wants to drive two different, one car every day of the week. All right. We can't tell you something. Talk to me. You have something for somebody, right? Mm-hmm. No, you have something for your wife because you're married. And when you check it out, you know, I have something. And I have, you know, I have a dispute. She says something weird and it's not true. And you know you have something for her. Would you give her about that stuff? To how you feel at the moment? Mm-hmm. Let's put it, you see, I understand to a level what you're saying, but here is where, with me, I could only talk about me. The thing wouldn't have gone this far in the first place, much as for me and you to be into this. <laughs> it wouldn't have gone this far. You know what I mean? And that's that's just that's just me. You know what I mean? But again, every there's eight billion of us on planet Earth. Eight billion different minds, eight billion different ways of dealing with things. You understand? Very true. It's just now that when you guys put the world in your relationship, I, now the world you know, has something clar- to say. You know, clarify that part there. Mm-hmm. You understand, car? Me and the one we are putting nothing out there to the world. Mm-hmm. You understand? It now come from my side. You get me? But my, you know, go up on the live, go say one and two, but me still no go in. You understand? To be honest with you, some people still not hear my side of the story. You know? mm-hmm. That's what we're here for tonight. This is exclusive, so Ye- we're going to talk. Yeah, we are talk. You understand mm-hmm. me? I say, but at the same time, me now go fully depths in my story. Mm-hmm. You see, like how my wife went in, that's in. Mm-hmm. And more than in, me now go do that. Mm-hmm. You understand me, I say? Like, you know, some private things where, in, you know, me and she talk. Me not, no. Nah. As a man? As a man. Mm-hmm. You get me? None of my style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's, <laughs> it's, it's messy out there, boss. It's, it's messy. I you know what I say? It's a messy thing, It's a good look. As me say, my wife always said to me, say, Bad publicity is better than no publicity. You so, understand? So is this all a stunt then? No, sir. Yeah. No stunt at all. Mm-hmm. Believe me, I tell you, say, no stunt, no, no, no stunt. Every time me and my wife have something, mm-hmm. you always hear people say, a stunt, we a stunt. Even when we have the dispute in a, 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 a DR, the Monica Republic, you understand? And the whole spit in the face thing. You get what I mean, say? In a real life, that is not stunt. That is not stunt. Yeah. But then again, it comes back to show again. It's just the softness of my heart for my wife. You get me? I don't yeah. joke at the realness. The realness mm-hmm. of me. To be honest with you, if I tell you say one person look for me and tell me, say your youth is strong, I lie, I tell. Mm-hmm. A hundred. Yeah, believe that. Tell me youth is strong. 
Do you think they mean it or they just they just hear it for the crash and burn? They like remember, they like excitement, you know, boss. And as long as you continue know, to so bring the not, excitement. I know me not, me not getting nobody in excitement. It doesn't have to be from you, but it, I, you're I, I, involved in it. Yeah, me involved in it. But at the same time, I know me I bring it. Mm-hmm. You yeah, understand what I mean? I a matter of fact, I just the name. The name at. So anything with the name get caught up in it, you know people just like run with it. Do it. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it always, I get bad name. <laughs> do it. Very, very interesting choice. But again, it's it's your choice. Who am I to tell you that? I eat that thing that. You really? understand? At the end of the day, when I push, okay, yeah, thank you, see you later, bye, shake your hand, and go about your business, yeah, I'm continuing living my life. You know? mean, that is it. And you're continuing living yours. You understand? Really? So at the end of the day, what do you want the world to know? Are you guys continuing? You guys taking a break? According to her, you guys are divorced. What? All right, here we're going now. I'm going to tell the world. You see, it's Crip Shaguna. Mm-hmm. So we are divorced. Work with that. God has script the shit go So mm-hmm. work with it. As a me I say, because everybody is watching. Go on and watch the TV. The reality show. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> you guys are the second reality show. The first one was Cartel Peach, Teacher's Pet. Teacher's Pet. <laughs> Yo, Queen and do and you know, you know, the body city, you talk about that. You know, me and I always sit and I say, we need to do a reality show. Mm-hmm. I see you come and tell me, say, <laughs> you guys are if, listen. You guys are doing a reality show right now. But when you check the ratio, I really talk. Yeah, 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 make. That's what you guys are doing. It's when me see my wife take live all other day, mm-hmm. and the more that people me, she coulda go to broadcasting. Me I tell you that mm-hmm. anything where she coulda, anything where she want broadcast at the moment. Me I tell you, mm-hmm. yeah, man, and the world up, world up follow her with it too. But you and me, she on, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the end of the day, I just things. Hope things work out in your life and her life. That doesn't mean together we're apart. I'm just saying work out in each other's life where you guys could just I want to move say forward. Now, the two of them have nothing against each other. You, know? mm-hmm. you understand? It's just the mere fuck. You know, the vehicle, you know, is an issue. And the money? Well, no money in the day. It's the make uh, So that's just a made-up story out of nowhere? The money issue, they are just made-up story. I can't tell you that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because when I left Jamaica, I had no time for going in the bank. You understand? Mm-hmm. And the money them, it in the bank. You can use a card, but at the same time, you have to do online because it's a Jamaica account. You see when I got in a Debs phone, it's a Jamaica account, mm-hmm. British account, and a US account. You understand? Mm-hmm. So if me have a job money now, you understand? You think me I gonna leave money in a in a no no tight share them? Me not take out every rotten thing. Yeah. Me not leave me not just draw Jamaica money. Me a draw British money. I me a draw US money. I me a come a big foreign. You understand? Mm-hmm. So that typical untruth. Me never not tell you say a lie. Me a gain a nice version. Untruth. <laughs> so there's a lot of Untruths that we see so from time to time then. Of course, no lie. That's structured that way. Yeah. It's structure, it's structure. Yeah. Guy never goes up. For public consumption. Well, we don't know if a public consumption in a body. <laughs> it just come. <laughs> <laughs> tell for public consumption, I swear. Yeah. But you know, it it, it does happen. Mm-hmm. And to be honest with them, um, as I say, you know, it, it, it's a thing that makes me stronger. Mm-hmm. Because I can remember clearly when, you know, last year, you know, when, you know, the internet had beat me going, had beat me come. And my wife had beat me too. Mm-hmm. Now I tell nobody not lie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, when she read the man I want to, she go in. When me, we, all right, to be honest with you, like when I do my foolish and, you know, you know, she had go up. Real hard. Mm-hmm. I'm just, you know, like this, I go on normal and I listen to her. You get me? Because that's me that's still in it. You understand? Mm-hmm. If somebody had talked to me and it makes sense, 
why not listen? Mm-hmm. You understand? And to be honest, when it comes to my wife, my wife not talk foolish. You understand what I say? If it, if, if no, clearly. That's debatable, boss. But <laughs> you continue, continue. Yeah, this, that's debatable. <laughs> but you know, from she start talk, you have to just get the the, the, the pave way and just make sure they talk. You understand? So more time when she talk, and as I say, you use a word, debatable. She's just this type of lady to it. It's on and on, on and on. You see, the moment you say something, she just have to debate upon that and she just have to stretch it. So you see, more time, the best way for you know, contain the, 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 the argument or the what's ever not happened, you just hold a composure and make sure you take the floor and go and dance. Then when she's tired, you get me? Then everything's moved back down. She's going to be watching this. What do you want to tell her right now? I want to tell my love her, man. I want to tell one queen wave. Anyway, turn up, sit down, or lay down, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When are you going back to see your wife, do we? Hmm. I want to tell her that one day, rough still as me tell her, if you just go out and watch it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Listen, I came in here thinking that she loved it more than you, and I'm getting this impression even more now that you guys love it equally, but in different <laughs> ways. You know what I mean? Because you could find that, like now, your your last couple of years you've been doing music. In my mind, I think you guys figured like, hey. If we could do this, or if you just let her go doing what she's doing, we could promote music like she has her music. She did good on Sting, basically one sing according to whoever. If we could continue down this path, probably we could start making some real music and some money out of it. That's how, in my mind now, sitting down talking to you, that's almost what I think your plan is. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, know. And I said the plan structure still. So there is a plan? Well, there's not even a plan. <laughs> because, I, well, you might not know, but me I tell you now, when me I come to Canada, mm-hmm. me I know my hand from my foot. You understand? So there wasn't a plan. Mm-hmm. It, it take me two days, <clears throat> about a day or two, before I link up my management. You understand? And at the time, they I never have no management. You understand? Mm-hmm. But, you know, by being here and... You know, management or constructs or anything. That's why I could I be able for the pan the interview at the moment. You understand? Nah, boy. <laughs> let's let's get into some music now because I think I think we covered certain bases that needs to be covered. Portmore, right? That's where you're from. Yeah, man, one Gaza. What was it like growing up in Portmore at that time there? Now, I tell you, see, it did nice, you know, it did rough. Mm-hmm. You get me? In you know, my time. You know, still rough out there, still. You get me? But you know, in my time, it rough. Mm-hmm. You understand? What part of Portmore? Greater Portmore. Well, not only Greater Portmore, because, you know, my mother and my father, you know, separated from me, from me young, from me baby. Mm-hmm. You get me, so, Mommy did there one place with them college water. That a that a Bridgeport area. Mm-hmm. He get me and my father Greater Portmore. Them called Two East. Yeah, you understand. So you know them two places was my ground. So more time you know me there from Two East to Edgewater. He get me to where now. You um, know about seventeen, eighteen. Mm-hmm. Me there from Edgewater now. Me there a place with them called Four East. You understand? And this is now my base from there. You understand? Till me left from this song, England. And then left from England and see me over Canada, you know? When you are in Portmore growing up, did you always wanted to get into music or that's something that came later? What did you want to get into at first? Well, to be honest with you, you know, music is something I've been loving. You know? mm-hmm. Because music is a universal language. You understand? It's, it's a thing where when, when you're done, you can just listen to music and it uplifts their spirit. You understand me? So, so music is something I've been love from from me ago. I usually dance too. You well, you're, you're dancer first and then artist? Artist, yeah. yeah. 
You said dance with a crew or just as a single yeah, dancer? Yeah, usually dance with a crew. We have a crew with them called Blueprint. You understand? Then we move from Blueprint to the next dance group named Academic. Who was there anybody in those that we know right now that were in those dance crews? Well, not Canada, but I know Jamaica, know who them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because you have one of them named Popstar. Right now, you know? Him, him, people still know him. He's a, he's a known dancer right now, see mm -hmm. him. You understand? Yeah, they, we, we, my time at time was, you know, if you know, checkers when um, Digicel come out with something new. <laughs> Give me something new. Just, boss, yeah. just, boss. Yeah. Them days, those our days, and punk, rock, punk. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you see, the good thing with Portmore is you guys have a lot of artists, songs. You guys even had your own um, TV station over there. I think it was Jack's yeah, Cable. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. We still have one now. It's, um, I forgot what that one the name. You know, I knew one. I forget what name. I swear. I don't remember. And I don't want to call the wrong name. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Artist-wise, were you linked with any artists back then or seen any artists in the area? Well, to be honest with you, know, before we even get the, 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 the main break mm -hmm. with my wife, where you know, say with my wife, meaning people know me. Mm -hmm. But now I'm around, you know, a couple artists, well, you understand, where you know, me have a connection, still have a connection with Big Vice from out of the six camp. Mm -hmm. You get what I say? You know, Bobby Six as well, you know, car, you know, video. More time them do video, you know, them come from our gun come do video. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You know? Yeah, no artists in other thing. You understand? Yeah. You used to see like Cartel or India, Gaza, or any of them around? Hey, me, you know, I'm the popcorn, I write over across the road, popcorn come from Tree West. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have Tree West and Tree East. You get me, sir? You know? Papi has somebody who normally say, but it's not a man who used to walk a road still, you understand? The eyes them are for good for see him. Yeah. You get me? Because when they move, them just move. Yeah. In and out. In and out. Yeah. That is it. Dancer, when did you start to get interested in music? All right. To be honest with you, um, I usually do credit. You understand? And the credit that I usually do was the one where play music, bands and drum. You understand, you have the side drum, you have the bugle, you have, you have variety of instrument. Mm -hmm. you get me? But I was the one where, you know, you play a bugle and you read the, the musical instrument, them and them stuff. So you could, you could play a bugle and you could read music? Yeah. In them time, because right now I'm kind of slack for reading the music yeah. right now. You know? But a lot of times it's just you, <laughs> as you, it's like a bicycle, as you get back on it, yeah, you'll figure you'll it out. Figure it out, yeah, yeah for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was Bugle, so then from there is where you said, okay, that was your first interest in interest, music. All right. And then, you know, from there, you know, me have a friend right now, Madhu Barber in mm -hmm. Jamaica, Blue, big up yourself, you know. Um, me and him, you know, come together one at a time and, you know, do a little thing in our studio. You know, we must see him. So called friend, you know, we name Chin with my wife, company internet, and, you know, Chin company internet too. You know, Chin carry with our studio the first time, me and Blue. Mm -hmm. You know, advice a tune. I said, oh, that's something I go again, I don't even remember because of years. You get me, but from them time, you understand, and, you know, from that, you know, me know I have something in me for music from, mm -hmm. from, from then, but, you know, when my wife really come aboard, that's when, you know, she really highlight the music, you know, me, the music aspect part of me. So she's the one that encouraged you or you figured that now is a good time to do it? To be honest with you, she encouraged me. I mm know, -hmm. me, me just say, you know, at the right time, you know, mm -hmm. the time is now. You get me? Cause I couldn't leave that tomorrow. I know. Right now. Right now. Because the first song you had put out was um, The Happiest Days of My Life. Yeah. That was two years ago, almost three. Yeah, um, that, 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 that song, you know, it released on my wedding day, my birthday. Yeah, you know? <laughs> okay, so you got married on your birthday. On my birthday. 
Because you could see in that that video there, to me, that's one of your most successful songs. But you could see in that video, you guys were genuinely having fun. Yeah, man. No, genuinely. No, 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 this wasn't for the camera. To be honest, they're still in it. To be honest, they're in it. It's right now. If you take my back to them time there, mm -hmm. I want to hear, man. I want to hear. If you just take my back to them time there, man. Yeah. And just let it go. All right, I'm going to show you something. Mm -hmm. I know my wife loves me, but she's too hard for me, fam. Believe me. Mm -hmm. I just that alone, I can't say. She's too hard for me. But you guys both did dirt. Yeah, man, I did dirt, man. I mean, so it's not I'm not like... like I'm not like telling them I do dirt, you know. Of course. I'm grimy dirty, you know. It's out there, boss. But me always tell her, say, I want to tell man, I'm going to know you. I hear a wife, I hear you. Are you a first wife? You can't have no last wife. You understand, sir? Mm -hmm. I just know. There's none comparing to you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Where where did you guys get married? In UK or Jamaica? Jamaica. In Jamaica? Yeah, man. Elsha up on the beach. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, what's the wedding? It was a great reception in our city today. To be honest with you, me never had a look for so much people at my wedding. Mm. Me never had a look for see all the star. You understand? Mm. So, you know when I see, when I see people in the background, me, me get all nervous, to be honest with you. Because mm -hmm. to be honest with you, you know, me is not the, the type of person who love for see the crowd, you know. Mm. I know me get for love the crowd, you understand? Because you know my wife, you know she she drill me, you know the way of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Show love to the to the crowd, yeah. You yeah, understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, never know if I go up on stage. I mean, never have them thing there. You know, I mean, afraid of people. So she was more the one that wanted to be spotlight artist and those type of things, there. Yeah? Well, I fear I fear growing up. I saw me come now. Mm -hmm. You yeah, understand? Yeah, artist. Because when I come to she artist, you just have double top boss. You understand me? I say, yeah. And thing and thing like that, till, you know. Me and I do a one song, and boy, me tell you from the one song. Do is like a connect it, connect in a real life, you know. And that was Happiest Days of My Life? No. There was a song before that? No, after. Which one was that? One Man to a Good, you know. Yes. And that to me. Mm -hmm. he do it. <laughs> yeah, what I do, you man. You guys, you guys really need an agent. You know what I mean. And if you guys are really living this toxic lifestyle, but you enjoy it. But listen, this is the caveat here. You're enjoying it. This toxic lifestyle. You need to start making some money out of this, boss. You understand? They're, yeah, they're, they're really you money. have to monetize it because if this is the life you're living and people like to see all of this here, now well, it's time to make some money. I can't tell you in a real life still, you know, as I tell you, just continue watching the TV. Mm -hmm. God, the ball game change. Which part of Canada? Mm -hmm. I want to tell you. Live in the studio. Okay, yeah. that is it. I'm a first solo interview. Mm -hmm. So as I tell you, the ball game change. Yeah. Yeah. No fake brand. No how did fake. you come? How did you come up with that? There, no fake brand. All right, no fake brand. You know, to be honest, with you, I got the rhythm. Mm -hmm. I got the rhythm. No, a matter of fact, my wife got the rhythm, mm -hmm. and from a producer called JB. He's supposed to know JB, and you know, um, when she get the rhythm, you know, she 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 related back to JB. I mean, JB, you know, said she want me on the rhythm as well. Mm -hmm. You understand because when she heard the rhythm, she made me hear it. I mean, I say, you know, I like the rhythm. I feel like I can put something upon it. Mm -hmm. You understand? And she said, all right, then. She talked to JB and, you know, she talked to him and JB said, all right, and give her the go ahead. And from, you know, the go ahead, you know, we just did it one day. I say, you know, no fake brand. You understand? Mm -hmm. And, you know, go in a studio, put it up, you know, and, I'll put it up in a day.
the reception when I get back from it, they get me and say, yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand, I need to put out more. You get me, so from this, you know, we start to construct it. Because to be honest with you, I have more, all it more music in it. Mm-hmm. You understand, all it more. Because even if you check my Instagram, I have a video there wherein I play a song in the background with me and my wife. And that, that song is a song that was recorded from last year, one year now. Okay. Yeah, sick of him, you know. Yeah, him, him. I want to tell you that nigga the twin, that him born nigga, sorry for that, you know. That G, that one. the next one right our, now, our, our, <laughs> our, What the hell's going on in UK, bro? Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying about sicker rhyme so much? Yeah, man, I really G man, cause you know, he really, he really bring out a, a unique sound mm-hmm. out of my voice. Mm-hmm. You understand? Because him, 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 is like him pay interest in a sense. Because when him advise me, if if him not get the quality, then me my affair, my affair give him the quality where I look for. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you know, him really, him really put me. Put me in a music, in a sense as well, for me to know, say, yo, it's not just one flat bass, you understand, you have to tune up your voice, you understand, it, man, sister, you know. Yeah. And I guess you having a bit of musical knowledge from playing instruments, yeah. you understand what it is that he's he's saying he's and saying, trying to yeah. tell you. Yeah, I look time. for, mm-hmm. yeah, you get me. I saw it more after kind of time, I mean, at the studio, you know, she might, she, she, she always I say, yo. Come down with your voice or go up with your voice, you understand? So, you know, I'm a teacher as well. You get me? In, ev- in everything that I do, I tell you I'm a teacher, man. Mm-hmm. That's why, you know, I really even take on the journey right now. Because I feel like my teaching days are done. Mm-hmm. You understand? I me, me, me stop taking lessons I'm supposed to teach, you know. Mm-hmm. At that level, them I see myself. You understand? Yeah. Ain't it? Ain't it? This is this is now where you're, you're putting on your English accent and you're doing your stuff here now. How did how did you come up with this song here now? This is when you actually moved to the UK. Now you would put this out. Yeah, I want to say before I come before I left UK mm-hmm. in in you know, the summer day and go to Jamaica and do that song. He gave me in it. My wife do a song with a, with with an artist named Dala from over in the UK as well. It name um. If no money you know, in it, don't come. Some, some, I don't quite remember how it goes right now, but you know, they, it's three of them. Dala, my wife, and Candy Gold. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, you know, they did this song, you know, and as I say, my wife always have my bucket. You get me? So, you know, she tell him, so she warm up on the rhythm, him give her the go ahead. And, you know, the, the rhythm just like, gave a sense of in it, you know, you understand? And then, Due to the fact that their song mm-hmm. was uh, also saying in it, you understand? You know, me just say, all right, then, me give them the dig it in it. Yeah, so I just saw that one, they formulate. Mm-hmm. So is it, is Queenie more or less pushing you to do music more, or this is something that you're coming up with on your own? Well, to be honest with you, <laughs> she push me. You yeah. understand, but sometimes I not take the pushing mm-hmm. because you know we are man in a light tech program. You yeah, understand? See, sometimes she push me. Nah, you yeah, understand? You get me, but you see now me dey for moon. Mm-hmm. I have a push. You yeah, understand? You get me, I say. Cause me nah, me nah have by my side for say. You know what? Say what we should normally say. So now me dey for moon. Me have a push. Me have out there. Mm-hmm. You get me? Yeah. <laughs> Your relationship almost seems almost like a mother son type of relationship. <laughs> where where it's like you are willing to really listen to her, even though yeah, man a man do whatever. That you do. Say, I love More mother. than she's willing to listen to you. I mean, well. It's a true she had a more experienced one in I think. You understand? 
me have to gear the the hand. Cause enough time I talk to her, she not take no talk. Mm-hmm. You understand me? I say, but the, at the end of the day, she do listen because. If I even the next day she turned to me and said, Yeah, no way did say well, it makes sense. You understand? Mm-hmm. I might be take her a week before she come to me and say, You know, say it's a well, yeah, makes sense. You understand? So mm-hmm. you know, she do listen, but as I say it's just a hard nut for crack, you understand? Anybody crack crack for you not them good. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Lay this one out now. Bangy lines. Yeah, bangy line. All right, you know, bangy line. Me get that. I read him there from a friend of mine. You know, I'm living at the States. Mm-hmm. You know, them in production team. Production of um, system. Don't quite remember what some system. Mm-hmm. You get me? You know, him send me the rhythm. My friend, him send me the rhythm. You know, me have a rhythm that they have played, 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 played. You know, when my wife jump out, come to Jamaica by herself, but you know, this summer, and left me up there. Mm-hmm. You know, me I say, you know, me need to do a song. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they my engineer at the time, that I'm money pre, you know, said to me, say, I have a song. You get me, and I want to do it. Mm-hmm. But the song I give me, if I did ever do that song, that my wife chop off my head. Is it? <laughs> So I tell him straight, mm-hmm. in a real life, what you want to me have a rhythm, mm-hmm. you understand? Make me do when me, when me feel like in a myself right now. You see, when him say, what you feel like, I say, no, so I feel like I'm going to a bang a line song, no. I must say, all right, then set up a session. You know, set up a session and, you know, do a session and send it back again. Okay. My friend in, in America there and, you know, I'm here and friend, I'm here. You know, I'm saying, oh, I want to have a run with you know, kind of people, them love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So that's so that one they come about. Bangy line. Bangy line, man. Yeah, we'll do me a bangy line, you know. Because mm-hmm. right now, in a real life, when you take up your phone, right? Mm-hmm. When you talk to your wife, bangy a bangy line, you know, okay, the on the line. You have to talk to your wife. So in that term, that essence, that's what you mean by bang a line. Bang a line. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the people might term it different to you, but... But that's your... Yeah, yeah. Your interpretation of bang a line. Bang a line, man. Got you. I mean... You came with your mask. What What does this mask represent here, do you? I ask you one question. So when I uh, put it on, mm-hmm. tell me where you think. Mm-hmm. How will you see Turn to the camera and show them. Ask them what they see. Camera, where is the camera? Bank robber. Mm-hmm. Somebody about to go mash works. Mm-hmm. Bank robber. Or okay, let's go even deeper. We're gonna go. We're gonna really go into this now. You come outside, showing a smiling face, but behind the smiling face is not that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Ever smiling. Mm-hmm. That's me that. Mm-hmm. All right. You see all this mask come about now? But the England. And, you know, when I'm a kind of store, I'm ever, where they near my, my house, mm-hmm. I'm ever venture to. You know, I go there one day, I see the mask. I mean, I see, I see the mask. I don't know what, but it just, it just catch me. Mm-hmm. It just catch me, 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 my eyes. I mean, I say, yo. Some Buddha man say, I love the man say. And I'm a bite. Mm-hmm. If I'm a bite, people them just love it. The yeah. way the people them love it, I buy a couple of them and carry to Jamaica. I fight people, I fight for them. <laughs> I'm saying, you know what? Yeah. I work in here because I ever smile. I love you. And then again, you know, it have a little thing to it. Most of the time I put it on my car seat. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, somebody walk up to me here and them say, Ooh! You know? Yeah. Yeah, you give them like a spooky. Yeah. You get me, so, you know, I like it. Yeah. I, I think that mask really represents you a lot more than you even realize. You <laughs> understand where, again, where you're all here and, yeah, you do your dirt too, but it's like you almost have to be the punching bag. So it's like, fuck, I got to 
put on a smile and act like everything's all right. But behind closed doors, it's not that situation going on there. So when I walk outside, let me put on my mask, whether it's the real one or the fake Fake one. one. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because this this is interesting to say the least, boss. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? I seen you per, um, perform on Palm Nation the other, what was it, Sunday night, Saturday night. Saturday night. How was it? Great. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, man, excellent. You get me? Me and people, I said, we should have done better. But I do better. You get me? Mm-hmm. And me, you understand, I forced me to perform in, in front of so much people. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah. Just to be a fuck for going to stand up in front of that crowd there alone. Yeah. I have to give myself a high yeah. applause for that. You mm-hmm. get me? So I'm not busy with nobody who tell me, say, my journey just start. Do you? Mama, give a joke. Talk to me. Catch me in the year from now. Mm-hmm. I trouble up on all the stage and both, yeah. <laughs> Do you think having an uphill battle, especially when it comes to music and performance, because of your attachment to Queenie and your wife, and it's almost like... If you guys are agreeing, they're not agreeing yeah. with you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Quite frankly, see me, so. mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Because you have people who eh, well, like the music, you know. Mm-hmm. But you see, at, at, at the end of the day, when you put it on the, on the media, you have the same, the same comment section, they say, them tell you a bug of crap. Gosh. And tell a bug of thing. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. they made it. The mafia repeat all the song that they made. Ooh, 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 what you need to do? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just live still, you know. Mm-hmm. Live. You get me? I can't, as I tell her once, you can't follow the internet. Mm-hmm. Never you follow that thing. The moment you follow it, I caught, you get caught up. Yeah, man. I mm-hmm. follow it. Musically, what's next for you? Well, to be honest with you, more music. Mm-hmm. You understand me? I look for collaborated some. With some, some of the top of the top artists them right now in the business. You understand? You get me? Yes, yeah, sir. You know, we'll leave a work there. Mm-hmm. You understand, sir? You know, the team and myself, you know, we just do what we have to do. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. I hope this conversation that we have, people get a better understanding, whether good, bad, or indifferent. You understand? I want them to, I treat to see it. Mm-hmm. I treat, I just, just say it a while ago, I treat mm-hmm. it. just a, where I say no, a percentage of people now go upon either side. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes, yeah, sir. My advice for you is this. If you're going to continue in your marriage, you and your wife, first of all, this should have been done from time, you guys need to set boundaries. And you see these boundaries you set? My father may tell you something. Mm-hmm. Cause some people always think me is that that mm-hmm. boundaries set. So then but why why do the human, ball why does the ball keep going out of bounds? We are human beings and I mean, now put the blame for myself. Mm-hmm. When boundaries set, it always get broken. Mm-hmm. You understand? If it don't get broken now, somewhere down the line. You understand what I say? Remember I just I just reality you now. Mm-hmm. You get me? I Jamaica me come from. All bound you, them over them place they can break from you have your money. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, as I say, I just life. One question I didn't ask you, and I guarantee you 99.9% of people have never asked you this question. Yeah. Do we? Are you happy, boss? Well, right now, me in Canada, me I tell you, say, yeah. No. Happy <laughs> in your relationship. You as do we, are you happy? In a relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, me I tell you, at times, you know, me not happy, but you have time where you can't say, yeah, man, I want to, man. Mm-hmm. Loving it. Yeah. More happy or not so happy? More time. Which one is more? To be honest with you, I'm going to go into the history book you know, and you know, calculate that. I mean, mm-hmm. Too much, you know. Okay. 
the mere fact that you had to think about that, this is going to be my follow-up question. Yeah. Why stay in this situation? That's why I mean, tell you if you stay tuned and go and watch. You understand? Because I mean, I like talking. You know? mm-hmm. Because the moment I talk, people misinterpret what I say. You see me and carry it, go back where they know to carry it. You understand? So, mm-hmm. I like action. That's why I say stay tuned. You understand? Because I'm loving it. Yeah. <laughs> like McDonald's. <laughs> loving it. Lego my shirt. <laughs> Leave something there. Leave some contact info where they could check you out online, check out your music. Leave some Vivo. Floors yours. Anybody you want to big up? Anything you want to say right now before I get you out of here? All right. Well, I need you. Um, you know, on Instagram, I do it. One connection, boss. You understand? I you don't know management. Uh, top class entertainment. You understand what I mean? say? I'm not too know the number they out of my head now. Fee. You know? But I guess once they go on Instagram, they could figure out. Yeah, man, them figure out that, man. Mm-hmm. Just drop your DM. As I say, management. You understand? I don't want nobody running on my DM either. You get me? Work with my management. You understand? Mm-hmm. One top class, never drop glass. Yeah, I understand. Big up top class for actually making this happen. You know yeah, man, I, mean? I, I want to yeah, man, if I never top class, man, I want to give a joke too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. It's when we just reach her. Eh? <laughs> we have a laugh. Yeah. We have a laugh. It's a, it's a remembrance for me. You understand? You see, the next two days from that. Shine me, I shine. Top class. Big up on a damn self. You hear that? Yeah. Believe me. The next two, when me just come, me I play low key. And right now, me I play low key. Now. Mm-hmm. But it seems like a high key, me I play same way. Generally, and as I told her, generally, you see when I come into the Pasa and <laughs> people, this, yeah, man, I don't she, do she that, boss. Say, do it, man. You understand? That's not my yes, lane. Sir. I got the call. At first, I'm not going to lie to you. I got the call. I said yes, and then I dodged the call. You understand? I got the call again. I said, you know what? Because you've dealt me straight goods. This isn't really something that I like to do. Yeah. Well, come on. Let's do it. You understand? For real. So you're you're in good company right now. For real, man. For mm-hmm. real. Do we? Let's do the do, boss. I can't eat it. I can't you eat understand? Man. As, as a man, you got to... As I said... Man keeping up, it man. straight, man up. Mm-hmm. But you do fuckery too, you know. Yeah, man, you understand? Yeah, so you gotta, yeah. you gotta either. It can't be tell one foot in and one foot out. If you tell a man, say me not do nothing. I lie, me tell. Yeah. Even before me left all Jamaica, me tell my wife, you know. Mm-hmm. Me say me take blame for everything. Mm-hmm. A majority, I think them too. Mm-hmm. You see me? Yeah, me not tell a lie. Yeah. Yeah, me be a man. I want to tell. I me not do nothing. Get me beaten already. Yeah. So I just be a man and stand up. You get me, I say? Yeah. And see me, I write it, say, right now, I'm loving it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do it then. Connection. Maximum respect again. In a real life. Top class. Love. Never drop Not class. Not the last class. Dep- Top class. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, well. You know what? Before I even give you an outro, age difference. What's the age oh, difference? Oh, the age difference. 20. 53, me 33. 20 years, eh? Yeah, and 20. And then you wonder why people are talking. But hey, we'll leave that for another time. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, The Pull Up, and we are out. Connick. Pop. This episode is brought to you by Mermaid's Fine, Toronto's tastiest seafood and bubble tea. Located at 1550 Eglinton Avenue, West Toronto. Follow them on Instagram at Mermaid's Fine or check them out at www.mermaidsfine.com. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusica.com.